Hi, today we can share some points to remember while bribing our dialysis circuit. Nowadays, we are not using formalin for dialyzer reprocessing, but still few centers are using formalin. This may cause formalin reaction, severe hypertension and burning sensation, sometimes vomiting and hypersensitivity soon after starting in a reprocessed dialyzer is a chemical reaction. If patients continuously exposed to formalin will cause severe inflammation and also its affect cardiac and neurological functions. To avoid this, we must check residual formalin test. We know checking with residual formalin test strips are costly, so most of the centers are not using these strips. So I will share a cost-effective method to test residual formalin. Collect sample from blood tubings after priming and add one drops of Schiff's reagent and observe the color changes. If the color changes into violet, that indicates priming is not adequate, formalin is present and there is no color change means priming is, priming is good and residual formalin is not present. Nowadays, paracetate is using instead of formalin and this is also dangerous. If concentrated formalin exposed to our eyes, only irritation occurs but if a paracetate is Exposed means it will cause even vision loss. Some studies showing if formaldehyde fumes exposed 6 days per week for one year will cause lung cancer and 5% of rejection of graft is due to anti and like antibody is due to formalin. So next we can go through some observations. Color changes in bloodline after few reuse, mostly is a gray color. This is due to leaching out of PVC and this is because of high concentration of bleach. If PVC enters into blood, this will go to liver and also pancreas that is dangerous. So as we know, every chemical has its own stabilization limit and is available in different concentration. So we can use bleach 0.5% and Hydrogen peroxide is 0.5 to 1 percentage. So everyone should know how to dilute the chemicals. So because dialysis people, we are using different chemicals and different concentration. So we should know how to dilute properly. So we can discuss about dilution formula. C1V1 is equal to C2V2. And C1 is initial concentration and V1 is initial volume and C2 is final concentration and V2 is final volume. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. More points we'll discuss on next episode.